So guys, we just finished playing the Doctor Doom event where we had quite a lot going on. The event, the cinematics were playing in the background, as well as another fish sticks getting eliminated during an event and some pretty great moments. And here's one coming up now. Jones getting hit pretty hard and you're thinking because of all the leaks, oh no, he's going to die. But then Hope comes in and pretty much saves the day. And we can now or we'll see the damage arm, which makes her new style make a little bit more sense. Kind of like a throwback to the Hulk in the in end game sort of thing. So that's pretty cool. So obviously we had that cut scene. The next moment we have to fight Doom. Say hi, YouTube. You stand against me. So then we frost into a vent and we think, okay, it's got a lot of health. And it soon starts to dawn on probably the player base now. This is going to take a lot longer than this game is going to last, which is strange. So I back down and it turns out it's a community event, which is even more cooler. I was a little confused thinking, oh, has something broke? Because most of the time events, things break during events. You know, sometimes things mess up. Sometimes you don't get in event. Sometimes events don't start and you're waiting there and you open your YouTube app and you see events happening. You're like, oh no, I've missed it. It's done. It's busted. It turned out it was a community event. So when you went into another game or when you load into any game, Doom would still be there. So that was pretty cool. I heard, I have heard a few people say it should have been an LTM. How quickly it was here and gone, I completely disagree. I feel like when events should happen, they should happen in a main BR and they should affect the game mode just for a little while. Did we have in chapter two, season three, or chapter two, season two, storms or zones were forming in the most weird places due to the device event. And it was starting to play havoc with the zone and half the zone would be in the water. So that was pretty cool. So the whole point of the event was to send Dr. Doom home back to 616. So he hasn't died. The health bar was kind of irrelevant. Like that's not his health getting weak and he's he's dying. This is just so the game mechanic can, you know, do the next thing of him. The whole point of the plan is to rift him back to 616, I guess, without the power of Pandora's armor. So that's why the mask is left here. So that's my opinion on that. And this was pretty cool. I guess this was the old zero point stuff and probably that's why we saw that stuff added to the game. So is Doom coming back? And I think he actually hints towards this. No, this cannot be. You will never escape Doom as he's being pulled away. So it it doesn't quite end his story. I guess it could end his story. It just leaves it on that sort of fine balance where you don't know if he's ever going to come back or is. So I kind of like they left it like that. And obviously the mass have been left behind, which is what he was building. So it's a clear message that Doom kind of lost, which is funny because what Oracle says, def in defeat will find victory or something. Not again, nice bro, Jay, he's coming back. Someone donated, so memberships. Yo, Andy Game UK! I can beat you almost missing that because I'm doing a video. Sorry, man. Actually, this is even better. You probably get into a video. So thank you, Anti Gamer, for the five gifted membership. Why did I not ping? Thank you, Anti Game UK. Ws in chat. A victory hidden in defeat. Maybe that's already happened. I don't think Doom was meant to be defeated that quickly. He was not defeated, though. It I don't think Doom was defeated. The the moment the plan was to Galactus him. And for people that know the Fortnite storyline, know what we did originally to Galactus back in Chapter 2, Season 4. And the plan was to not kill Galactus. He never died during that event. He actually died in a follow-up uh, comic book series because it was adjacent to that comic book series. Uh, but that's a completely different thing. But the idea there was to rift him back to 616, which he did. And the plan wasn't to kill him or destroy him. It was to somehow get the power of Pandora's box away from him, which he had in infused into his armor which I think they were successful at. And now I think we will move on to Mephisto. I love how Doom was so hyped up and just gets defeated. Like he didn't, Scott, he didn't get defeated. He got outplayed, he got outsmarted. Do you, you know, you can't defeat someone that powerful, but he rifted away without the mask. So I presume he's lost the power of Pandora's box. Anyway, this is generally the problem that most uh, TV shows, comics, and films have, that they make the villain sometimes too strong. And then when Halle get defeated, it's a bit like, wait, what? These rift beacons were used to rift Doom back to 616. We don't know if Doom is coming back or not, but this will now lead into Fortnite Mares because we have pumpkins and the rift beacons are pretty much done dusted. But obviously we've had leaks that suggest that Mephisto is going to be an NPC on the Fortnite Island. And if you offer him health, he will give you stuff. So we're obviously making a deal with the devil. Depending what that deal is, I guess we're going to find out. Offer 20 of your health and you will receive a random weapon. Offer 40% and you receive an organ. Offer 99% of your health, or white health I presume this is, it will reboot your whole squad. So what is Mephisto 
now going to do with the health? Obviously, it seems like Doom's plan was Mephisto, but now Mephisto is allowed to fester, I guess, on his own away from Doom, if that's what they want to do. So we seem to have some Halloween-esque reality or stuff now bleeding in because of the rift uh, beacons, I guess. Because obviously that's how reality beacons work, how rift zones used to work. And obviously this has had rift energy. So I presume that's how it's uh, coming through. Brawler's Battleground, Restored Rills, and I think Grand Glacier will be the three POIs and that will be changing. Also, where did the fourth beacon land? There was five, no idea. What we've been working towards this whole season is to make sure that Doob isn't as powerful as he could have been, getting rid of the others. Mysterio, Emma Frost, and then Shuri plan was the Rift Beacons to rift him back to reality 616, the same we did with Galactus back in chapter two, season four. So that was the plan in the event and the plan before when the event started, and that's what happened. The Rift Beacons turned on, and he shot at Doom's uh, uh, tower, but unfortunately, unbeknownst to them, it was shielded, and then Doom came in attack. Almost killing Jones, but Hope stepped in the way. Seemed to take a brunt of Pandora's power, and maybe Hope now has Pandora's power, who knows. And then we meant to defeat Doom or hold him long enough so the Rift Beacons can re-energize, which I think was said some way through the event, to rift him back to 616. And that's what we've been working towards. Oh my God, they've literally done what was one of my biggest problems? I did a video. I literally listened. Good, go. Coming in clutch, ultimate. Thank you very much. Uh, what was it? What was it? What did did I do that video last season? Dejection from the loopers. The point they knew it was completely over. Like I've always felt, we could have had a bit more of a collision approach where we had rendered cutscenes as well as third-person gameplay to be actually in there on the reality tree, standing against the herald and move between that and the cutscene. But I feel like I know why they completely did in that section as a rendered cutscene, because I feel like you would be unable to convey the emotion within that scene if it was to go to a 3D gameplay back to a cutscene render. That's a good point. I was actually going to mention that point. Thank you, Past Jay. Yes, maybe because seeing a cutscene, being up close and personal really helps to bring you into the action. When you see a rendered cutscene, it's going to look epic. There's going to be dust. There's going to be particles. There's going to be crazy stuff going on. But when you see it from a gameplay point of view, some people will lose that sort of draw and connection because it's just gameplay with a big doom. I can understand why some people won't translate that as being great and being good. So I did say that in a Herald video, as I can see why they didn't make a scene with Big Herald and us fighting, because it could have been a bit gimmicky or it could have fallen flat, which I guess for some people who didn't like that bit of the event, maybe that's why. That's actually a really good connection to make there. Maybe I'm barking up the wrong tree. What do we think about that chat? Now, I thought it was epic, but I guess when you see, when you see in a rendered cutscene, okay, this is epic. Dust, particles, despair, mm, like epic shield but when you see in this does it fall a little flat we we had that we had a cutscene that then moved into a like a gameplay section or portion of the event so imagine this the bit where john jones launches captain america's shield at the back of doom and doom turns around beams jones and then is about to probably kill him but hope stands in a way you would have been lacking several elements if you had it as a gameplay portion of the event I mean, you kind of did have that. Every time Doctor Doom unibeamed someone, it was one of the three characters around Doom, Gwenpool, Jones, or Pilverine. So that might be why they didn't decide to do that for the Herald, thinking that it would do, it would be too much of a disconnection. I think it would have worked well. I feel, I feel like it would have been interesting to see Fracture play out like that. But where you would have struggled because Doom was so big to see Hope and Jones in gameplay, Doom rifting away as a gameplay scene works pretty well, I think anyway. But if that's what people lost a connection and sort of didn't quite feel it, I don't know, maybe that's why. But now this is the next stage of the story. Mephisto and his plan, wherever that is. Will Doom still be relevant? I don't know. Is his story kind of told? Has he failed his perfect order? Who knows? But it seems like the next stage, we were always going to head to Mephisto. What seems to be the case with Doom's mother and that's how it was being built but it doesn't mean that Doom has to be successful to, for, for Mephisto to come. It seems like he's going to come anyway, and that's got anything to do with Hope or Jones, 
or someone else or us as loopers start taking health of him or we start giving him health for rewards i wonder what the full plan is for mephisto why does he need our health why does he need our souls i, I guess that's that we will see in the future and to the people who said this event wasn't great or anything i would completely disagree completely i enjoyed it i enjoyed that it actually became a community event first i was confused i was like wait what's going on but it's a community event didn't actually last very long and then rifting back to 616 and i was in game able to see that bit of, bit of the event so it was really cool i really enjoyed it so guys who did enjoy this one leave a like subscribe to the youtube channel until next time it has been your boy mr jl white next time bye bye